Happy New Year and welcome to the first episode of Meaningful Mondays in 2022. And 3rd January is celebrated as Balika Din in Maharashtra, the day when the mother of India's feminist movement was born and India's first female teacher was born. Savitri Bai Phule is the one I am celebrating on Meaningful Mondays. Born in the community of gardeners, she was completely illiterate when she got married. At a time, child marriage was very prominent at the age of nine to the 13-year-old Jyoti Rao Phule. A book that was gifted to her by a missionary and seeing her eagerness in wanting to read that book, Jyoti Rao became her first teacher. And from then on, her interest and enthusiasm allowed her to finally reach the teacher certification course and completing it with a plop. Education, she realized, was the biggest asset anyone can carry with them and therefore wanted to educate as many people as possible, especially in the lower caste. So when she and her husband opened schools, they noticed that the number of girls were outnumbering the number of boys who were coming. And soon, to her credit, she became the first person to open an all-girls school in India. The branches started increasing in number because seeing the enthusiasm, they decided they'll not have schools very far away. But as a result, smaller schools in many areas started opening. And here was this husband and wife duo wanting to not only take education to the next level where casteism was very prominent. She was trying to do her bit to become a social reformer thanks to the influence of her husband. And one of the things that is still credited to her is the barber protest. Young girls were turning widows and there was one ritual that was being followed by society at that point of torturing the head of the young widows. And wanting to protest this, she went on a protest march with barbers saying that they will not do it for young widows. In fact, when the widow was thrown out of home and she was expecting, there are many cases where Savitri Bai brought them to her house and made sure that they had a safe pregnancy and then allowed them to do what they wanted to do. She also went on to be one of the first people to speak on caste divide. Much before the rest of society spoke about it, she has in fact, uh, to her credit, poetries that she has written and she has mentioned about the Dalit as a caste, a community that has been ill-treated by society. Along with her husband, she started the Satya Shodaka Samaja, which was like a platform that was open to all, irrespective of class, religion, hierarchy. And their sole motto was to bring in social equality. And as an extension of this, they even started the Satya Shodaka marriage, wherein marrying couples, but on the pledge of promoting education and equality. To her credit, she also has widow remarriage, which they encouraged as a couple. Now, when you're going against society and doing all of this, especially when the society is highly patriarchal, you're bound to meet protesters. So there were people who were throwing dung balls at hers, mud at her, but the patient Jyoti Rao told Savitri Bai that make sure you carry one more sari in your bag because you can't individually fight these people. And that was one thing she always carried with her. Whenever anyone dirtied her clothes, she would go to the place she needed to and change her sari. Amazing clarity, right? And this is what makes Savitri Bai Pule somebody that we can emulate going on to even serve society when India was hit by the plague. In fact, it is one case where she had to carry a 10 year old who was diagnosed with plague that she herself caught the disease and succumbed to it. 
what an amazing life and what beautiful life lessons if you believe in a cause just move and head on face every opposition education is very important it dispels a lot of myths and gives you the confidence to speak up and when you know society is protesting against you you know you're doing the right thing just move ahead absolutely confident a beautiful note to end today's meaningful mondays if you haven't heard of savitri bai phule i recommend read about her google is full of information but definitely use your discretion and be aware of such amazing human beings we had amongst us and today definitely remember her if you know women or you are a woman because if women today are out there in society playing roles and asking for what is right and wrong the start of it all the seed was sown by this amazing woman savitri bai phule have a beautiful meaningful week ahead stay safe stay blessed